Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm here with Chris and the SSX 303 with a red dot and a short suppressor because this is what I like. I think this is my final setup, but I there is a twist. I personally wouldn't run it like this. I would always run it with a scope. For me, this is a DMR platform, but I guess it could also be like a stealth killer at maybe close quarters. Yeah, we had this discussion yesterday, so that's why I decided to give it a try. I'm gonna put the sniper scope on it and a long suppressor to see which setup I like the most and which setup I'll be using in the future. And I'm gonna let you know. So let's get to the game. Let's get right to it. Okay, I started with the red dot because it's the beginning of the day and I feel like running a lot. It's nice, lightweight package. Exactly what I need right now. It hit the branches in front of him, but otherwise it would be a hit. Looking back at the footage, maybe he would duck faster. Anyways, there is way more targets on the other side. Because a guy told me that that's a sniper area. And I'm not playing sniper because I have the red dot on it. So that would be a big disadvantage for me. <laughs> you can see that my BBs are dropping in the distance. That's how I want it, because I can shoot over obstacles and still hit the enemy. I don't like overhop too much for close ranges. If my rifle was overhopping, I would have missed these two guys. Nice. Ha, got two. What is happening? Civil personnel. Ah, civil. So they just shouted that there is a civilian around this area, so we had to stop firing. I didn't get that because I was switched into, into English and they were speaking Slovak, which I understand. But anyways, let's wait a second and then let's see what's happening. Let's use it for reload. And so far, I must say, even though I have a red dot on it, I'm making more sniper-like kills because it is, uh, it is accurate, the range is right, uh, I have it set properly. So even though if you want to run it as a uh, assault rifle, you can easily do long range rounds with this gun. No problem at all. Okay, the game is on now. And I also managed to load the BB in the spring, so I cannot use the window now, so I have to go from the top. Okay. Got that one. You know what? I'm just gonna rush it. Let's see. Oh, just a Medium home, medium home. Minus. I think that was a hit. He's getting away. And a guy is shooting here. Okay, there is a hit. Got him. This is exactly what I was expected. Like one shot hit. I'm really enjoying this setup. It's totally enough. Like the red dot, perfect, lightweight, amazing. Chris! <laughs> See, I knew somebody is there and it was Chris. Okay, this guy is gonna run now. Oh, got him. Oh, that's Alex. I'm switching shoulders a lot, which allows me to stay more behind cover, making me a smaller target. And with this SSX-303 setup, it's super easy. I like that. Yes. <laughs> nice. 
Okay, that's Chris. Actually, I could already end this, and I just don't yeah, don't die. What? Man, you can't hear it. It's like the oh. Oops. I'm good. We are just talking. It's <laughs> like so I hear a pee, which goes like. Shoo. Fuck, it was from the back or from the... I was actually turning around, I thought there's a guy shooting from the back. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with the accuracy. Yeah. I got some uh, one one shot head shot. You missed the red dot. Yeah, with the red dot. Man, I, I, I'm not looking forward to switching to the scope, to be honest. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, to the scope, because this is just perfect. Okay, let's go back to the game with this new setup. With the SSX-303 and an optic. Let's see how it goes. I can hear enemies really close. Having the ability to fire multiple shots is priceless in these situations. See, you can do that with the sniper, because I'm within the limit. See, this is great. I'm playing with an optic, but I can still kind of rush people or sneak upon people and I just aim along the barrel. That's just great. You don't need to reload. This is awesome. And nobody heard me because it's so quiet. So I can just continue sneaky, sneaky kill streak. Back. Yeah, but there was a guy. He's down. And I can already feel that this gun is getting heavier and heavier by the minute because the scope is just so big and it's also thro throwing off my, my balance. Ah, there we go. Hit. And I didn't really cover my left side because I thought they would be coming from the respawn, which they did, but they went more uh, detour and they just flanked me from the side. Not a bad game though, got some nice shots. So it's after the game, I played with this gun with two different setups. I had the crazy optic and I had the really small nice red dot. Uh, by now, uh, I was talking a lot in the video, so you know what I prefer. But to sum it up, to make a conclusion, this is just too heavy. Magnification is there, but ah, what? What? I think I'm gonna prefer the scope over the, the red dot. You will prefer the scope over the red dot. I think so. I have a feeling. I mean, you are you are used to uh, red dot. Uh, you are yeah. used to scopes, so I mean that would make kind of sense. But for me, this was just. It was almost a burden because like the distance you are shooting at it's quite close range and this is just you know you look through the optics suddenly the field of view changes we have to find the target again with this thing i mean boom boom done that that's it like the dot is there it's just perfect i can i can fire a lot faster with this gun and also on long distances i got some really nice headshots on the first round on the first shot i'm surprised you can do that yeah it, I got do it, with it was really nice and the red dot was not limiting me at all I just put the red dot on the guy's head and I just pull the trigger down the BB goes there to be sure I, I pulled the trigger twice you know <laughs> like a double tap because there is no recoil you know it's not the GBBR so it just tick tack 
bam, one of them is gonna hit. So I really like that. The red dot for me is an obvious choice. It's a, it's a no-brainer. But on the other hand, it's uh, if you have a field that is perfect for snipers, why not? It fits the gun nicely. It is totally playable. You get the advantage of magnification and all that. And good what about stuff. what about correcting? What if the wind takes the PV away? Because you assume that the PV hits the dot. But yes. What if it doesn't? Yes. The thing is with the red dot, you don't see as much because you know no magnification. With this, you see a lot more. You see exactly where the BB is going. For me, it's not that important. I can still correct with the red dot a little bit. It's definitely worse than with the with the scope. But did you play? Thought there and pluck, pluck, or was it like, oh, there's a guy, pluck, 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 no. pluck, hit. Uh, depends, depends. When you were running around, I was just like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and I just, I saw know. that, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I saw it, it was like, da, 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 da. exactly, yeah. I mean, it's a rifle and a sniper rifle. I mean, it's an assault rifle and a sniper rifle in one body. That's what it is, because mm. you get, I'm not playing with the full auto on my GBBR anyway, so this is exactly the same thing. There is no recoil, it's super quiet. That was the nice thing. What? I was shooting at people and they didn't know. So they didn't like go down and, and hit themselves, you know. They keep standing there. So the BB has the time to hit them because they don't hear anything or very little. So that's a, that's a great answer. It's the, the idea of the gun actually. Yeah, it's and quiet. it works. It works. Yeah. Like the people, they have usually no idea. Yeah. Even when you were running, I think you had no idea I'm there. No, I was like, a, a, BB, is, a BB was hitting the branch line next to me and was like, where is it? <laughs> From the front. Yeah. The next one. Yeah. This is exactly my setup for the rest of my life, I guess. Uh, this, mm, not important to me. With a sniper rifle, of course. But I enjoy this, really. This is perfect. And yeah, uh, now I actually noticed I forgot to put on the suppressor, the long one. So I still had this one, but there is not much of a difference. Maybe the bigger one will suppress it even more. It's what do you more think? quiet, yeah. It's more yeah. volume. It's a little bit more quiet. But I'm it's totally a lot fine. more big and a lot more heavy. It's heavier, yeah. Mm. I would, I definitely prefer this uh, suppressor on it because it's just really thin and lightweight and it's full of foam with the different discs and it's not much sound. Man, but I want to shoot it <laughs> to me. And it's it's really accurate. I like that. Man, with a red dot on, everything looks like a real gun. It's just like. Yeah, it's straight. It goes yeah. right at the red dot. And I was surprised I didn't even have to adjust the hop-up. I played, I think I would adjust it once, maybe. Mm. I don't I don't remember if that was before the game or during the game. It's just there. That's good. No big deal. That's how it should be. Okay, good. That's it. That's it. Neat little gun, especially without the cameras. Like, it's, it's so light. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to check out this gun, if you want to reserve your spot in a pre-order, you can. I'm going to put the link down below. And once this... Thing hits the warehouse, which is gonna be in August 2020, then you're gonna be one of the first who can enjoy this at the field.